Hello everyone, this is Pico Entertainment and we are back again and here now we have another video for you and we're going to talk about the live action Spawn movie and why I think Zack Snyder is the perfect choice as director. Now I'm sure most watching are familiar with what Spawn is but for anybody watching who isn't, Spawn is the comic book character created by acclaimed comic book artist Todd McFarlane back in 1992. The creation was a result of a select group of elite comic book artists such as Jim Lee, Mark Silvestri and Rob Liefeld all leaving Marvel and DC Comics to form the independent publisher known as Image Comics. Now Spawn followed the story of Black Ops Marine Al Simmons who was ordered to be assassinated by rogue CIA boss Jason Wynn. Once murdered he was sent to hell and Simmons struck a deal with the devil known as Mel Bolgia where he's revived to life to see his wife Wanda. But he's been manifested into more of a phantom being with his body scarred and burned alive. Spawn also contains abilities such as superhuman strength through energy manipulation and over the course of the series he strives to free himself of the deal made with Malboja coming across several antagonists along the way. Now Spawn was one of the leading titles from Image Comics selling over 1.7 million copies in its first week of release and going on to become the longest and most successful independent comic book series still going strong today with over 300 issues. Now the success of the property led to further expansion in other media including a tour line merchandising, an animated series from HBO, a long line of video games and also a live action movie released in 1997 with Michael J White in a lead role as Al Simmons. Now sadly the movie wasn't received very well by either audiences or critics and post its release it's been often queried as to why we haven't yet seen either a continuation or a reboot especially in this current era of the superhero genre dominating entertainment where we've seen characters who are far less known than Spawn such as Blue Beetle or Black Adam all getting their big budget movie releases. Now McFarlane has often speculated on plans for a live action movie but nothing has ever come to fruition. Now recently he took to social media to announce the writers of the upcoming reboot including the likes of Scott Silver, Malcolm Spellman and Matthew Mixon and it's still being rumoured that Jamie Foxx will be the lead role as Al Simmons but as of yet we've had no further news in terms of announcing the director and it's in this aspect that I believe the right man for the job in terms of directing the movie is Zack Snyder. So why is this then? Why is Zack Snyder the overall the perfect choice for a big budget live action Spawn movie? Well if you look at Spawn itself and its overall concept, the tone is one of a very dark, violent and gritty take on a superhero. In fact Spawn is very much of an anti-hero, the concept itself is far more of that mature, deconstructive take. Far less an inspirational story, Spawn is mostly famous for the strikingly vivid artwork and detail aesthetically that we see from the character. And it's all of these elements that fit in perfectly with Snyder's own filmmaking style. If you look at all of his movies from the likes of 300, Watchmen, Sucker Punch, they all carry that same dark, deconstructive, anti-hero brooding tone that what we've seen from the Spawn comic book. Now, as we all know, Snyder tried to integrate those sensibilities into both Superman and the DC Universe, which was a huge mistake, but those sensibilities would be absolutely perfect for Spawn. And as we've seen from his work, Translating those dynamic comic panel shots into the big screen is very much a specialist skill of Zack Snyder. So just imagine how cool it would be if he could recreate all of those imaginative and dynamic art shots from the comic book. I think it would look extremely impressive and he would definitely bring a certain scope and visual grandeur to the overall movie. Now as to whether Snyder would be capable of forging a more compelling story is more open to question. But many fans of Spawn have openly admitted that the comic book series itself in terms of story is actually the weakest part of the series. Now as crazy as it sounds the biggest reason as to why we haven't yet seen a big budget reboot of Spawn is more likely because of Todd McFarlane himself. Now we all know how much of a hands-on person he is and as the creator it makes complete sense that he would want to have complete control of any live action project. But whilst he has huge status in both the comic book and toys industry, when it comes to the movie industry, he has very little clout to get a studio to greenlight a huge big budget Spawn movie. And this is where Snyder would be so advantageous as he does have more clout within the industry and he would have far more bigger chance to convince a studio to back a live action Spawn project with a $100 million plus budget. And when you look at Spawn, again, in terms of the visual aesthetics, I would say it would need a big budget of 100 million plus if you wanted to really do the project full justice on the big screen. 
And whilst both McFarlane and Snyder are visionaries who like to have complete control, they would share far more in common in terms of the direction and tone of the movie. So it's for all of these reasons that make me firmly believe that both McFarlane and Snyder collaborating together as both creator and director would garner the best chances and results for a truly epic big budget spawn movie that would certainly please all of the fans and give them certainly something that they've been waiting for for a long time. So those are my overall thoughts and feelings on whether Zack Snyder is the right director for a big budget spawn live action movie. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you disagree with me and you don't think Zack Snyder is the right choice, who would you pick to overall direct the big budget spawn movie? Do you think McFarlane still has what it takes to actually direct it himself? Or do you think there's another director out there who would share far more sensibilities in terms of the overall tone of the comic book series itself? Please let me know what you think in the comments and if you have any other suggestions on certain topics or television movies or series that you'd like to see me cover then also drop me a suggestion and I'll see if I can provide further commentary on you within the channel on those topics within the future. Please also hit and like the subscription and notification buttons so I can provide you with more high quality content like this in the future. But that's it for now, take care of yourselves, stay at safe distances and I will see you very very soon.